Hi, so if you've been following my earlier videos, you know that at the moment I'm actually in Sri Lanka. And I've come over to um, work at a graphite mine for a little while and help the guys here develop some bits and pieces that they uh, want to develop using their graphite. And in a previous video I showed you um, the magnetic graphite that they've got. Now, this is what they're getting. And it's a really unusual graphite. It's far more conductive than normal graphite. And it's sort of an odd silvery colour as well. Uh, and um, it's actually a pleasure to work with because I get tons of it and I get to play around as much as I like and do whatever I like with it. It's great, really cool. Um, uh, but one of the things we sort of made out of this is in fact a conductive ink. And um, the guys are bottling it up like this in these, uh, I think, 25 mil bottles or something like that. And they've made this ink out of it. Uh, and the ink is actually really quite cool. Um, I painted a blob of the ink onto a... Um, jam pot lid and I'll, I'll let, it, um, let it dry and, and this is what I've got. I've got a flat piece of ink about a millimetre, a millimetre and a half uh, across and it sticks to paper and whatever and if I take a reading of that and that reading is about a centimetre or so apart then on my meter you can see it's actually about two ohms uh, and it's at the lowest reading and it's um, about two ohms per centimetre something like that so we've got this conductive ink that's uh, two ohms per centimetre. Now, um, I've, I've used quite a few conductive inks and I've tried the com competition and um, some of the people are saying that they're getting 460 ohms uh, per centimetre and I've tried to get that out of their inks and failed utterly. But that's what they say, they're getting 460 ohms. And there's this company who's come up with this ink and this ink will get you about two ohms a centimetre. And now that really opens up some interesting possibilities. You could really do some interesting stuff with that. And my next project, after I finish the motor, is to my try and make a, a paper transformer because it becomes a possibility. Now, I think the only reason this stuff works is because it's made with this um, really unusual graphite that we're finding here. And this is a pleasure to work with. But I thought I'd give you a heads up on this because uh, it's just really interesting.